Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing something called the anti-interference boards. Now these are low ESR capacitor alternatives, but nobody really knows how well they perform. So I picked up a couple of these off of Banggood. I'll leave a link to them down below if you want to go ahead and check those out. Now what these are is Basically, they are just a bunch of small ceramic capacitors put into a specific array to equal some kind of a farad rating and a maximum voltage rating. So the current one we have is a 470 microfarad anti-interference board, which is rated up to a 6S, which is pretty insane. And what we're going to do is we're going to match it up against a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor and see how well they do against each other. We're also going to be doing LC filters as well. Later on, we're going to be doing a nice shootout between LC filters, ESCs on each, I mean, low ASR capacitors on each ESCs, or just one big fat low ASR capacitor on the main board, on the main voltage just coming in, seeing what's best and how to go about fixing it. Now, however, I'm not gonna be doing the shootout on this current setup. It's because this setup is a very, it's a pretty damn clean setup. And uh, these these ESCs on, this on, the, on the setup right here are just spectacular. They're the best budget ESCs. And uh, the only reason I call them budget is because of their price, but in reality, these are basically premium ESCs you cannot find any better deal online at the current moment of time and I have been testing these day in day out now and I'm just I'm just amazed so what we're going to do with this current setup is we're going to be using the Maytech F405 CTR because it has no voltage regulator on board for the VTX, thus giving us a very clear visual of what's going on in the FPV video feed. And we're going to be connecting the four Flycolor Raptor 30 amp BLS ESCs with for Emacs 2306, 2400 KV motors. I find these to be, to be the most noisy as well as the harshest on ESCs, which gives us very nice results. And we can test for worst case scenarios, which is what I really love doing here. And um, yeah, enough talking and let's just jump to the testing. Alright guys, so the results are in here and um, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad, but obviously the low ESR capacitor is, is definitely better. So right now what we're looking at is the throttle noise test. This is 10% throttle, 25, 50%, 75, and 100% throttle. And on the right side, we have the anti-interference board. And on the left side, we have the low ESR capacitor. Now, as you can tell here, if we take a look here, it's, you could tell that the, the higher voltage spikes, the higher peaks are very much filtered out very good or a lot better with the low ESR capacitor than the anti-board here. So that's the first telltale sign, especially when they're switching throttle levels. That's where you tend to see the most like spikes come up every once in a while, especially here. Uh, as you can tell, let's take a look at the maximum, for example, voltage spike. So with the low ESR capacitor, we got an 18 volt voltage spike. And with the anti-interference board, we got a 19.4 voltage spike. Now you might be wondering, well, how did it do with, um, without these well let's take a look here this is the esc without anything no filtration on board but itself and as you can tell here we got a 21 volt voltage spike so the anti-interference board does help but not so much as you can tell here it's it's not really you know doing anything it's just like rounding off the edges here so the low ESR capacitor on the left here is obviously doing a lot better job so let's take a look at the color version of this so here it is also so now the top one here, this is without any filtration. The left side again is the low ESR capacitor and the right is the anti-interference board. As you can tell, it does help uh, with the filtration somewhat. 
uh, it, it kind of keeps the voltage stable, but it still uh, still has that noise in it, as you can tell here. See, as you can tell here, these little dips here. Here, it's more consistent because the capacitors were holding some of that voltage and giving it back when it needed it. Here, the 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 caps on board weren't enough. Now, not not saying this ESC is bad. This is a very good ESC. We're gonna soon we're gonna see very terrible ESCs, and what's the difference on those as well? But as you can tell here, like I said, 21 volts voltage spike with no filtration, 18 volts with a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor down here. So uh, it does help. The anti-interference board does help. But as we could currently tell from the throttle here, that the low ESR capacitor is the winner. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, aggressive flight maneuver noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this one out. This is the anti-interference board. This is the noise. And this is the color for it right there. All right. And we're going to go ahead and grab the low ESR version. This is the low ESR version and also the normal one. There we go. All right. So if we take a look here, um, you, it's definitely, it's a clear winner. The low ESR capacitor is definitely a clear winner because look at these low, very low voltage dips here. Uh, it dipped down to 7.4 volts. And um, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It still helps. Uh, let's just take a look at it without uh any filtration there it is down here so as you can tell here we dipped to seven volts here but it dipped to 7.4 volts with the anti uh anti-interference board and for the low ASR capacitor 8.2 volts so obviously the low ASR capacitor is definitely doing a lot better um and the anti-interference does help as you can tell here it's reducing the voltage spikes compared to the no filtration so it does help so if you just have that on board it does not matter it's still doing some kind of filtration and it is overall helping out the uh, your quadcopter. Now let's take a look at the color version of this. So if we take a look down here, uh, you could tell definitely tell that uh, the low ASR capacitor is, is the clear winner. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. Let's bring in the no filtration version. And this is the no filtration version. So it's the same thing, but just with color coded. So you kind of give an idea. So we got a maximum voltage spike with no filtration at 22.6 volts, as you can tell right there. And with the low ASR capacitor, we got 19.2 volts, which is very good. And with the anti-interference board, 21.2 volts. So it's really just buffing out one volt or so with the anti-interference board. But it does overall help. You know, these voltage spikes being reduced is a very... It's it's better than having voltage drops. I mean, the, the, the board is reducing the voltage spike. The voltage spike is what's really scary. Because the higher the voltage spike, the more current it's carrying through all your other components and possibly burn something out. If, for example, you had a defective resistor, a defective cap on one of the boards you have, an ESC or a flight controller or the VTX, uh, that'll reduce uh, the chances of it burning something out. Now, and again, this is still a pretty good ESC. Now, you might, uh, we're going to see the very terrible ESCs very soon on the channel with the LC filters. So, I'll leave a link to everything down below. Uh, if you could use those, those greatly support the channel. I'm really, like, trying my best here to do everything I can for the whole community as well as myself. I'm very interested to see these. This is the first time ever I think we've ever seen such a thing. And I really want to keep improving. I've gone ahead and ordered a couple extra things such as thermal cameras. I think it was the Fleur I got or the Compact Pro. I don't remember which one anyway the seek seek camera which will be able to monitor the the temperatures because the temperature actually believe it or not this is only running for a couple seconds uh the motor temperatures goes up and the esc temperatures go up so that'll give us a very nice detailed overview of everything also uh between the mosfets the heat sinks and however how the heat's being dissipated it's it's very interesting i don't know what we would find but we're gonna find some awesome cool things so like I'm saying, any support goes an absolute long way. You can go ahead and join my Patreon. Uh, that'll really help the channel also. It'll keep everything going the same way it is. Because I do this full time. I don't know if anybody knows. Um, but yeah, I'm doing this full time. And um, I'm really hoping it's going to go great. So I'm doing everything I can at the current moment of time. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And really help really hope this helps someone out there make an educated guess and or educated purchase or just you know learn something today and um that's going to conclude it for this video guys thank you for everything please don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that notification uh bar that really is just thought that'd be super awesome if you can and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time see you guys take care